Welcome everyone and welcome to Corvette Ed's Garage. At the beginning of this year I, I put on a uh, 2022 highlight um, and uh, unfortunately I was uh, I, I was sick with the, the shingles and I kind of just threw it together and uh, I never did like the way it came out so uh, I'm just going to use, I, I, I redid it and it kind of gives you an idea of what was going on in 2022 at Corvette Ed's Garage. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you come back. Uh, don't mind the mess I have in here right now. I, I, you know, I got, as you see, I got some new equipment back there. Getting ready to step it up. Uh, and I'm doing some rearranging here in, the, in uh, my uh, office. Uh, again, hope you like the uh, video. I uh, hope you like the channel. Hope you subscribe. Make sure you like, share if you want to share, and if you have any comments, go feel free to comment uh, on any of the videos. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the highlights. Uh, it wasn't a short pause. I lied. I kind of threw that in there so you kind of get an idea of uh, uh, who I am and uh, what I like doing. And uh, it, it was pretty, uh, pretty extensive. And this is what they did to me. God damn, that fucking sends shivers up my spine every time I look at that. Whoa. Um, I guess I'll start about 20 years ago, 20, 21 years ago. Um, I, uh, I, I, that's when I bought the Corvette, and I wasn't actually looking for a C4 Corvette. Uh, in case you don't know, C4 stands for fourth generation Corvette. Uh, at the time when I was looking, uh, my roommate, who was uh, my best friend, uh, he was a Corvette guy, and he, he owned a lot of them. I asked him to come along with me uh, to go, I wanted to go check out a, a 78 pace car, a C3. And he said, uh, you know what, Ed, before you do that, let's go down to the dealership, down, a uh, car dealership down, down the street. Uh, it's 1989 C4 Corvette down there. Take it out for a test drive. You will not regret it. Okay, well, we were on our way over there, and then this car was sitting on the side of the road. So we pulled over, and uh, it was, had a for sale sign. The guy wanted $10,000. Uh, I called. No answer, left a message, and we proceeded down to the car dealership. Uh, I got a phone call, and it was the owner for this Corvette here. Uh, and I told him I was interested in the car, but I liked it. You know, I mean, I couldn't believe it. it was like day and night difference between this 85 and the 89. So uh, we went back to my place. We, uh, I, I, I knocked him down to about 8,500. And uh, I gave him the cash on the spot, uh, gave him the pink slip, and I owned a 1985 Corvette 21 years ago. I was into uh, you know, autocross, you know, and uh, I decided I'm going to take my, my Corvette out there on the track. I had this out there for about three years, and in the three years I had it out there, I did. I upgraded uh, the suspension, the leaps, and the uh, bushings uh, with polyurethane bushings, the Coney five-way adjustable shocks. Uh, and, and this car really handled it like a dream, and I dropped it also. And I'm the type of guy that uh, I like uh, doing other things, and I just got this here uh, in a basket case. So I retired this. I figured I'm going to put it out to uh, put it in storage for now. I ended up using the uh, white clay, as you'll see here. Uh, nice and even strokes here, guys. Uh, you're not trying to. Uh, uh, smash down on it. Well, uh, here I have Blue Magic. Uh, it's a great uh, aluminum polisher that I've, I've been using for a lot of years. Though in the end, uh, it's not perfect, but it is good enough. Uh, I, I like it. Uh, I did uh, polish the uh, aluminum out uh, to come out to be a mirror finish. It really did come out pretty good. Uh, I'm really real impressed with that one. I got a uh, high flow uh, water pump 
Uh, that's also going to assist in the cooling. I got this from Star Racing. Well, anyway, uh, this is what the air cooler looks like. Um, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Um, it's our MMU fuel management unit. And this is going to uh, regulate the amount of uh, fuel going into the motor at boost. Uh, also, they provided a uh, off valve, or a third valve, however you want to call them. Um, that's what it looks like there. An internal uh, high flow pump. All the piping for the uh, charger. Uh, all the uh, power cord black. The jewels. Say hello to my little friend! Okay. Here's the meat. That's the pump charger kit. Now, I do have one last thing to do, but that one last thing to show you, which was an afterthought. So, uh, let's get that up on the table. I just got my intake back, and I haven't set in and power code. I love the smell of that pump in the morning. So, as far as, far as the uh, intercool is concerned, the center piece uh, right here in the middle Fook me, that was fast. Hey, welcome back. Um, yeah, you're looking at a uh, pretty tore down mortar. Uh, actually, it's not really a big deal. I have both heads off. And then we're going to go ahead and, and install the intake. But we did have an issue with the intake. Uh, one of the runners were damaged in, uh, uh, in shipping. Houston, we have a problem. Um, I caught that father coder and he said uh, you know, he didn't notice the, uh, the dents. And he went ahead and power coded it, thinking that I already knew about the dents. And then when I received it, it was uh, like, oh, wow. Uh, this ain't good. Um, uh, uh, the drawback is that the, the uh, runner has already been powder coated, so I was afraid that uh, if I popped those dents out, um, uh, they would uh, damage the uh, powder coating. But the powder, the powder coater, throughout, throughout the whole time, it, it, it kept telling me, "Don't worry about the powder coater; it's going to hold." You know. I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. So we communicated back and forth, and we, 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 I did an old method uh, that really worked well. But the power of Christ compels you. I filled up the runner with the two dents in it, and I filled it up with water, and uh, froze it. So yeah, when I pulled it back out, it looked like uh, there was some uh, uh, some some improvement, but not much. Then it did dawn me. You know, it's aluminum, a thin wall aluminum. Why don't I throw some hot water in that damn tube? And uh, so I got some hot water damn near boiling, I threw it in the tube. Well, uh, now I started seeing some improvement. I left it in there for a few hours, pull it out. I did it a couple more times. The dents are completely gone. The runners, uh, the powder coating on the runners uh, held up. I was successful with it, so. I have successfully privatized World Peace. That's how you do the runner in case you got cancer. Uh, after I put the intake on, I'm going to put the new uh, uh, valve covers on too. Uh, they're aluminum valve covers and they look really good. Uh, I got them from Corvette Centro. I uh, just recently had a visit uh, with uh, my new doctor. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Many of you already know I had major back surgery. But around the seventh month mark, uh, something wasn't right. Never start with the head. The victim gets all fuzzy. When I see the surgeon, he said, uh, no, this is not good. Houston, we have a problem. What do you mean this is not good? You mean this is not normal? No. She's already been through all that. And anyway, uh, the surgeon recommended another surgery. <laughs> I don't want to kill you. This is all caused by a motorcycle accident I had back in the, uh, and the agony of defeat. Uh, to make a long story short, uh, I opted not to do a second surgery. Uh, Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. 
The doctor that I spoke to here recently, new doctor, and he pretty much told me it's going to be a hit and miss. Some people recover fine off the surgery and others don't, and sometimes they get worse. It gets worse. I fell into the category of others don't. Not sure I did that. Uh, am I done with the project? Nothing is over! Uh, no, I'm not done with the project. Uh, after looking at the harmonic balancer, I'm looking at the rubber, and, uh, it's also starting to wear. I guess I got some cracks going on. Uh, what I noticed on the original is how, see how that's, uh, starting to crack. So, as you can see, pretty much everything in this episode has been, has been put on. Uh, that took me. That was that was quite a challenge. I have my back given out too. So, uh, but I got the runners on. As you can see, the uh, in intake is on. The uh, valve covers. But other than that, put everything else back on and get this thing ready to fire up. Well, wait, 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 wait before everybody starts throwing bricks at me. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm just gonna bash your brains. But, uh, nah, you know. And, and the torque specification for the throttle body cover plate is about 30 inch pounds. Or so. Basically, I, I use pork gaskets. Pork gaskets work really good, um, especially when you set it back on the head when it's done. Well, that was easy. Yeah, right. God damn it, Smith! So, there you have it, there, guys. Uh, she's looking pretty good. Uh, it's coming out the, the way I expected it to. So, really looking forward to starting this, this, this uh, car up. Before we get started, does anyone want to get out? So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up, make sure that I have no leaks. This has cost you a stride. Victory has defeated you. So, we got a couple issues going on with it. That's why we want to stay running. But, she fires up. Just a quick uh, doctor's note. Um, last episode, I had injured myself. Um, uh, working out, and I was going back to working out that same day, which I did. Um, unfortunately, uh, I re injured myself. Um, but, but I did figure out what was going on, uh, which, I, which uh, uh, exercise did hurt me, and that was the uh, dumbbell squats. Uh, see, I can't do squats like you people can. What do you mean, you people? Oh, I didn't mean it that way. What do you mean, you people? Um, we're going to go through it step by step. Uh, you guys just hang in there. Uh, I know I get impatient sometimes when I, I, you know, screw the video. I need to get this done. You ain't first, you're last. But I'm not going to do that. So we're going to start with the basics here. Uh, hose. Uh, air intake uh, hose, uh, get these things out of the way so we can get to the rest of the parts. So. Okay, here comes the alternator. So now, there's exposure to that bracket. That bracket is what I need. I'm going to pull that off and take my bracket home. And you guys really don't know how much this burns me up to have to cut an OEM product, an OEM piece like this. Uh, I mean, I am not liking this the whole time I'm doing it. But hey, uh, it's for the cause. I'm not going to use the part. Because you can see, I, I'm still having uh, issues. I'm doing. I'll go. Never mind. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to take some time out to. Uh, you know, so show gra uh, gratitude for all the subscribers out there that uh, watch the channel. Fan that's going to go on the alternator. Um, the alternator is not going to be in the stock position as it was originally, uh, with the supercharger uh, taking its place. The alternator is actually going to be flipped around. 
All right, so uh, to drill the hole wider, I decided to use a uh, step uh, uh, drill bit. Uh, it's a new one that I just picked up, uh, Titaniums. Uh, here, uh, just pausing the film for, or uh, pausing it for a second here. But when I put the uh, pulley on, uh, it, it just it just stops the fan altogether. So grind down uh, each one of those uh, blades in order for that uh, fan to move freely. It is what it is, so expect to do some type of modification uh, when it comes to buying aftermarket product. So there you go there. Like I said, it's not perfect, but uh, it, it serves uh, function over fashion. Uh, Pro Charger says go ahead and stake it, but I find that necessary. Loctite's fine enough. Um, uh, because I might have to get rid of my uh, sport bike. Um, I tried to uh, get on it uh, last week, and I, it's probably too early for the, because of the surgery that I had. Uh, and there's no crying in baseball. Uh, this is a 1985 uh, VF1000R. Yes, it's 1985. No, so I had one of the interceptors. Uh, that I bought brand new, down right there, and uh, uh, that was the, uh, the bike that I had the major accident in. Uh, I mod remodified the suspension, uh, I modified the motor, uh, I, by the time I was done with that bike, it was pushing 125 to the ground. Uh, that's this one right here. I, I can't believe it, I, I, I'm showing a dirty bike. Well, let's take care of that. Okay. Uh, not too bad. Anyway, you, got, you guys take care. Like I said, I'm not giving up on this baby year yet. So. But you guys take care. You be safe out there. Uh, and have a great weekend. Bye. Don't let that